Neil leading forward when we spoke to you leading up to his last start win. What did you think of it? Yeah, it was a good win. Uh, like I'd said previous uh, before about his racing manners, he's, I think he's just still a young horse that's still learning. Um, he's doing doing a few things wrong. He's he's running around a bit uh, when he comes to win his races. And, you know, I think uh, the last time actually he, it was the best he jumped. So he seems to be learning slowly. Um, he jumps and travels quite easy. Um, he's got another good draw, which is important to have when you're going up in the weights. But um, look, you know, he kind of looms up like he's going to win uh, twice now he's loomed up like he's going to win a couple of lengths with me and he's only just won so look if he can just kind of just get his act together a little bit the last 200 then uh, I don't see why he can't uh, have a chance to win again Do you think he's the type of horse that when he does gain a bit more experience and learns a bit more he will develop into a nice type? Yeah for sure um, if you look at his pedigree like on pedigree he really, really wants to be stepping up in distance but John's tried that and it didn't work and I think it's because mentally the horse is just not ready um, he's got enough speed to be able to handle the 1400 and the speed of the race tends to suit him so it's a plus that John thinks the horse can go to the races again before the end of the season he's had two wins this season already so yeah I definitely think that he's got plenty more scope to improve and uh, so I'll be going in there confident again that he can run a strong race and a significant occasion earlier this week Neil happy birthday how many counters were on that cake I didn't have a cake, Eddie. You're not allowed a cake when you're a jockey. <laughs> but uh, now, nah, look, uh, I'm 42. I feel good. I'm fit and strong. And uh, as long as I can continue to do that, age is no barrier. Karis General's delight. That was a big step up in class for him up to group level last time out. How do you think he got on? Yeah, he got on pretty well. Um, you know, he, he, had a, he had a beautiful spot. And I thought he, he gave me his best in a straight. And I thought he ran a fair race for himself. Um, like you say, it was a tough tough task for him, but I was very happy with the run. Coming into Sunday then, Douglas has given him a bit of a, a freshen up. He's drawn a good gait, lightweight. How do you assess his chances? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he, he's, he's, he's done a bit this season. Um, I, I'm pretty sure the freshen up will do good for him. Uh, I know Douglas is very happy with the horse. So, of course, he's got a good gait, no, no, uh, no weight on his back. So, I think he, he, he'll, be, he'll be competitive. And there doesn't look to be a lot of pace on in the race either. Could you take advantage of that tactically with him? Well, uh, you know, I, of course, I will. I will have a chat with with, with Dougie to to decide what we want to do. But um, to be honest, I, I don't really think he's a he's a front running horse. Uh, you know, he needs he needs to to be relaxed a little bit. So we'll definitely go go through a race with Dougie and and, and make a decision. Hero star Neil. Was it just a case of he was beaten by a better horse last time? Yeah, it's getting frustrating, you know. This, um, I got on this horse. He's, he's he's only got a short sprint, so I think uh, in previous races he'd been just using himself up too much, and uh, he just hasn't been lasting home. But uh, the the last twice I got on him, he's just got into a nice position from difficult gates, and he was just able to save a bit of energy for the straight. And each time he's he's sprinted there the last 200 to get there and win his race, and he's just been run down by a better horse on the day. So. Look, I think it was quite a smart horse to beat him last time. Um, you know, he's, he's holding his form well, hence why he's going back to the races again. Uh, and if he can just do the same thing and, and run the same sort of race, he'll give himself every chance. You take on Skyfield from Casper Founds' stable. Is he the one to beat? He is, yeah. There's another uh, one or two horses in there. I think it's quite a competitive class four, which is normally the case when you get to the end of the season, everybody's trying to just get a win out of a horse before the, before the off season. But um, my horse is solid, and, and I feel like since his uh, last run, I think he's, he's trained on quite well. He's, he's come out of race, and he's starting to mature a bit more still. So, yeah, I'm quite confident he can run a good race. He's got plenty of gate speed, so he can overcome the draw. We're coming towards the end of the season, of course. Sunday's the last uh, weekend meeting for the season. Your own form, Neil, 26 winners this season compared to 17 last season. The numbers suggest it. Do you feel you've had a better season this time around? Oh, 100% sure. Um, you know, I've look. I, everybody says this all the time, like, "Oh, I'm working hard," and everybody's working hard. You know, it comes down to opportunities. You know, I work hard to keep my weight down as low as I can to give myself every opportunity to ride lighter weights. And obviously, I try and get on the rides that I want to get on, but you don't always get on them. So, look, I feel like this season has um, definitely turned round. I'm getting a lot more support back from the stables that weren't using me the last couple of seasons. So. It's slowly and surely coming back and um, you know I'm going to keep working hard to uh, try and improve it and, and get even better for next season.
amazing shot that Karras. He's flying this horse. Yeah, of course uh, he's he's done he's done well. Uh, uh, his last couple of cups start. Uh, of course, he's come he's come from a long way down the class. Um, he's now of course going in class two. So we're looking forward. So he's won three of his last five. Is there still more to come from him now that he has gone from class four and now into class two? It's going to be hard, of course. You know, you, you, when you step up the class, it's always hard, and you know, of course, you've got to respect all the other runners. <coughs> um, of course, he, the, even the gate doesn't help him much. So, you know, of course, we are trying to to, to, to do as well as we can, but the gate's going to make it very tough for him. Of course, like I said, stepping up in class also it's it's pretty difficult. But you know, the horse is in good shape, so. Let's hope he can he can perform good again. Those last two wins that you've been on board for him, he's been back, he's had to cover ground. Have you been impressed with the way that he's won those races? Yeah, of course he's he, he won well uh, in the in the class class three. I thought his last win was pretty good because he had to carry the weight and was a bit on the outside, but we had cover all the way through. So he had he had a bit of race to run for him too. So, but like I said, you know, it it, it is gonna get harder now. Um, but like I say, he, you can't you can't take his performance away. He's done very well his last five starts. So let's hope he, he do better. Joe, he's a beauty. Must have been a bit of a relief, I guess, to get that win on him last time out. I have no doubts about it. We we have been persistent, and unfortunately, it took a bit a bit long to get the monkey out of his back. So fortunately, we got him to win last time. What did you think of that uh, performance? He seemed like he was more professional the way he went about his racing. Seems like uh, he has responded to everything that John has been trying to teach him. He's, he was a bit difficult horse to deal with in the gate in particular. He used to travel a little bit king. John has changed few gears with him and it seems like it works perfectly last time. If he's able to produce it the same way as he did last time, even going up in class, he should be competitive once again. He's done nothing wrong his last two start. Last start in particular, uh, I was a bit unlucky as I got held up and I got stuck behind horses on the home straight. And he just fought hard to, to get there. So hopefully he, he goes as good as he did in his last start once again. This looks to be a bit of a stronger race compared to last time out. There's a few nice horses in it. What are your confidence levels like with him? I got a very high confidence level about this horse. He, he's, he's got quite 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 a bit of ability he's his talent to be honest where he's at the moment is he's not gonna get stuck there in rating wise he's gonna pick up some more it's hard to predict but I can feel like he there is plenty more left in himself Sunday is your last day of race riding for the season Joe 135 winners for the season a lot of big race winners as well too but you're not going to be champion jockey this season the way things are looking mathematically how do you reflect on this season for you well, I think I, I must assume I had a very good season. As you mentioned yourself, uh, I put in, in my bag some Group 1 races, which is very important, and uh, 135 wins, which should not be once we go through the, the last meeting for myself on Sunday, um, should not be that number, should, should go a little bit higher. And overall, I got assumed that I had a good one. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to carry on all the way through fighting for this championship with Zach. Um, but Zach has proven to be, once again, the champion jockey that he is, and he deserves that. He deserves to win. And uh, at the end of the day, I've got plenty to look forward for the next season anyway. So uh, I don't think I disgraced.